Hello guys, welcome to Tamar Automation. In this video, I'm going to teach you about Fanuc drive configurations. This is the electrical control cabinet of the Fanuc based machine. If you take any Fanuc based machine, then uh, electrical cabinet will be like this only. Uh, maybe you will find some of the additional compound, but drives will be there. Drives will be common for all Fanuc machines. But here, uh, look at this picture and this one and this one. A lot of cables is connected uh, with the drives and some of the cables are interconnected with the each drives. Why they are interconnected with the drives? Which one comes first and which one goes last? So these are the things I'm going to tell you. How the FANUC drives are configured by the connection. This is the uh, overview of the FANUC drive configuration. If you take any FANUC CNC machine, then you will able to find PSM, SPM and SBM also. So these are the drives which is used by the FANUC to drive the axis in the CNC machine. Okay, so this is a PSM. PSM is nothing about power supply model. This is going to supply the power to the entire servo drive and spindle drives. And what about the control voltage? Uh, in PSM, SPM, SPM, we have the PC boards and we have the LED indicators to indicate the status of the drive. So how it is getting work? So we need the power supply for the 24 volt DC, a 12 volt, a 5 volt. I'm just saying for example, how we are getting that through single phase. Okay. In PSM, we will give two types of supplies. One is for operating and one is for distributing the power supply to the drives to run the motor. Okay. Here we are giving the 200 to 240 volt. AC three phase AC okay so from here I'm just taking one single phase to the PSM to con uh, to generate a control voltage control voltage is nothing but 24 volt so here in PSM we will get 24 volt that 24 volt distributed to the other drives to operate the PCB and other electronic devices and here we have the CB2 MC and AC reactor MC is nothing but magnetic contactor. If there is any alarm comes in our machine mean first the MC will turn off magnetic contactor. So wiring will be like that. If there is any emergency situation or any alarm, uh, emergency alarm that time this MC will turn off. Or if you press emergency stuff that time this MC will cut off the power supply to the drives PSM. Okay, so this is the general overview of the PSM. Here we are giving single phase to generate 24 volt to operate the all the drives and here what we are doing here we are giving three phase three phase AC for what we are giving okay to control the AC supply directly we cannot control AC supply that's why we are making it a DC through DC we are controlling it and again we are converting into AC and uh, that AC supply is fed to AC motor servo motor. So here what we are doing in PSM we are giving three phase supply and it is converting that three phase supply into 300 volt constant DC and it, it, it is distributing the 300 volt via DC link. Here we have the two short bars plus and minus. So using this short bus we are distributing the 300 voltage DC supply to all the drives by distributing like this way and we are able to control the DC. By controlling the DC, we can we can assure that the positioning and everything, speed control and everything in the CNC machine. Okay, so this is the uh, role of the PSM. PSM is converting control voltage and giving the DC link voltage to the drives to operate the drives. Okay, so the next one is SPM. SPM is nothing but spindle amplifier or spindle module. Uh, if you take any CNC machine, we we will have a one spindle. Maybe the twin spindle is there, but commonly I'm just going to take one spindle. So one spindle, maybe in some machines spindle will be stationary and in some machines spindle will be rotating. Okay, to operate the spindle, we need some power. We need some constant power, not like servo. So to generate that, we will uh, we will run the spindle at 500 rpm, 5000 rpm, 20000 rpm like this. So to run 20000 like uh, 20000 rpm using single module, so then that will be the spindle module. We cannot run spindle uh, motor using SVM servo module. So spindle motor is specially designed for spindle purpose, and servo motor is specially designed for servo purpose. We cannot uh, interchange each other. Okay, this is the role of SPM. 
and here here comes SVM. SVM is nothing but servo module, or we can call it as a servo amplifier. So in servo amplifier, we are giving input 300 volt DC, and it is converting um, the DC into AC using IGBTs. We will trigger the IGBTs according to our needs. Okay, then that again the AC supply is fed to AC motor, AC servo motor. Then uh, uh, we will control the position of the machine. And this is the servo module too. Uh, maybe uh, if we if we need the additional axis, then here comes the SVM3. So depending upon our application requirements and drives will be there. Okay, so this is the general overview of the funnel drive configuration.